Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. Today is July 14th and it is day four, <laughs> four of classroom setup. I didn't vlog yesterday because yesterday was the first day back for teachers and honestly I was in meetings all day and I literally had no energy when I got back upstairs to work on my room. Um, and really all I did was hang a couple of bulletin board things, um, like things that I had made and um, laminated and cut out the other day. So I'll just quickly show you guys a, a few of the things that I added and then I'll update you on what we're gonna do today. Um, I have the rats back today. They're here and I need to set up their cage. So I think what I might do is set up their cage really quick so that they can get out of that carrier. And then I brought my guitar to school. Many of you probably don't know this about me and those of you that are new subscribers, welcome. But I am a very musical person. So um, throughout my like background, I actually minored in musical theater in college. I did a performance or I, I ran a performance-based character entertainment company for a long time about 10 years where I would do like child's birthday parties and dress up like princesses and things like that. So, um, and then uh, I also in college sang in a country music band that performed at country bars around Phoenix area. So I have a, a musical background and I absolutely love music. I think that it is such an important thing. So I have these plans to potentially use my guitar as like a way to de-escalate students at the beginning of each class or maybe like after lunch or recess. Um, I want to like either write or learn a tune that I could have the kids write like a welcome song to. I think that would be something really fun we could do like the first week of school, have each class kind of collaborate to help me write like a welcome song, a song that gets them in the mood for learning, a song that helps them clear their mind um, and just kind of calm them down. And then I also used to do Mindful Minute where I would just strum or pluck the guitar for a whole minute, let the kids just kind of either lay on the floor, put their heads down, whatever they needed to do to like get themselves ready and prepared for class. So I think I might do that this year. I know that I have a group of students coming up that are going to have some behavior things and I really just would rather put some things in place ahead of time to kind of help de-escalate them before they escalate, if that makes any sense. All right, again, I'm filming on a thing, so just ignore that. <laughs> okay, so what you missed was I actually hung up this student center thing I want your guys' opinion. Should I color the inside of the D and the R black with like a Sharpie or should I cut it out? I don't really know. I'm thinking I should, but I didn't want to do that at the time. So I just skipped right over it. Um, I also hung up this, are you in a 4S line? Silent, straight, still, and smiling. 
That is one of my big, 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 big rules is standing in line correctly. I also added a zoning tool just for, you know, some high emotions that are coming in this year. I just kind of, like I said before, I want to nip it like early, get it, you know, dialed in. So I do have this little zone reminder that I can put, um, I can put an emotional child, you know, right here on the end. And then that the way they can like peek over here and kind of check that out throughout the day. I also put in some tech tools. So just all of the things that my students will probably need the most often, copy, paste, select all, and undo. I notice that these are the four that they use a lot. I do have more if necessary, but those are the four that I selected for right now. And then um, I obviously put Taylor Swift up. Um, and then I have my inboxes right here labeled and ready to go. And then Taylor's little Hey Kid reminders right here, I have to hang that put your name on your paper. It looks like somebody like scratched it. So I might have to redraw that, but, and then I also hung up my because. So it's just right up there at the top of the board, ready to go for kids who need it. Um, and then I also put up these uh, little uh, labels. So this is where on my focus wall, I'm going to place the supplies that's gonna be needed for the class. So every day, depending on the lesson, I'll just put up there like supplies that are gonna be needed or necessary. And then the kids are not like, you know, overwhelmed. They can kind of have that stuff like ready to go. I also put my notice and wonder labels. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use this board as a notice and wonder wall um, because I do have the kids using sticky notes and I feel like this is plenty of room for them to put their sticky notes, especially because when I do a notice and wonder, I actually come up and read them. And if they're nonsense um, or if they're not scientific questions, I actually pull them off. So, um, you know, I don't think it's going to get too crowded. Um, I do print. I did print a new date that I'm going to use instead of that one. That one's a little small. Um, and the one I have is a little bit more colorful and large. And then over here, I need to print another one of these um, and just put like concept map or something right there. Um, because this is where I plan on like drawing or like labeling things if I need to for the students to use. And then over here it says, look, I'm going to put key terms over here because I feel like this wall is the most visible to every single person in the room. And, um, and that's where I'm going to put key terms. I do not, um, like define them here. I just use these as a way for kids to refer to it as they're speaking and answering questions and discussing things as a class. And then I also put a little frizz up at the top because I just love her. Um, I hung up this plant too. I don't think I showed you guys that. I plan on having my, um, my custodian is gonna hang something for me to hang it up in the window. Um, so I can do that. I actually might put it in this window cause it's nice and long and tall. And then I also threw another frizzle here on this wall. Science is like magic, but real. She's so cute right there. And then I hung up my You Matter and my mirror. Hello in there. And I also put this little Instagram thing. I've had it for a long time. If you guys have been with me forever, this picture is like eight years old. Um, but what I thought I would do is like, as I take pictures throughout the year, I just pick my favorite ones print them out. I have the little like zip printer and just put them here. I thought that would be really, really cute to like add, you know, class pictures. Uh, what else did I do? I think that is it from the last time you saw me. Uh, there are some stools missing. They're out for repair or replacement. So that's why it looks so blank in here. Uh, what I'm currently working on is laminating these. These are my new um, calendar and then I do need to stuff all of these labels inside of these little pockets. A long time ago, I bought like 15 of these adhesive square label pockets. And so I have like tons of them. So I'll never have to buy them again. But I was gonna use these to label my table bins, my supply boxes, um, so that each table group has an assigned table box. And then on the tables, there is a little strip of vinyl that says the name of the table and I might plop a picture label next to it so that they can recognize the shape of the continent. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna 
my table groups are gonna be called continents. So I have, you know, North and South America, I have Europe and Africa, and then I have Asia and Australia, and then this little <laughs> isolation desk is Antarctica. So I kind of, I tried to like map it out like they are in the actual, like on the actual globe as best I could. So I am looking forward to that. I, I used it at the end of last year. It was really cool because then the kids like never forgot the continents. It was great. So uh, let's see. I have a ton of stuff on my to-do list today. As you can see, a lot of it is like administration stuff, like um, put rosters in emergency folder, um, schedule team emergency practice time that I have to do with my team, uh, make a plan for reach or slideshow, motivation surveys for week one, um, email blah, blah, blah about blah, blah, blah. Like it's all a little bit like busy stuff like that I have to do on the computer because my classroom is pretty much done. I do have a couple of decor items just still on the front up there that I need to either put up or put away. And then after those are done and put away, I'm finished with my classroom. I just need to finalize a couple of projects. There might be some student council kids popping in today and tomorrow to help teachers with projects. So I'm kind of sort of saving those projects until the last minute, just in case a student council kid comes. And if not, I can work on it Monday because I'll be ready. I'll be done and it'll be, you know, I'll have plenty of time. If you guys are new to my channel, I do have pet rats. This is Temple Tina. Hi, baby girl. They're so sweet. I love them. They're the best pets. Teeny is getting a tumor on her belly though, which is really scary. Um, but I hear it's very common with rats and she's about two years old, two and a half. And there's Peach. Hi, Peachy babe. How are you, Pinkin? How are you? I love them. They're the best. I brought them because I wanted them to have their big house. They've been stuck in the little cage at home, which is only like this big. It's like a quarter of the size. And I could just tell that they were ready to have their big house back. So they're back at school. They'll stay the weekend um, here. I might take them home like the night before school starts to give them a bath because they are kind of stinky, um, but they're happy to be back. Another thing on my to-do list today is to make a promo video for my school's Instagram and Facebook. I am the social media director here at our school. Um, I team up with our like administrative assistant and assistant principals. My job is to like post certain things that they send me and then also post things that the teachers send me on our social media accounts. So today, and they know that I'm like super video savvy, so <laughs> they um, have asked me to make like a promo video about Meet the Teacher, supply lists, um, start times, end times, where to park, where to drop off, where to pick up, so that parents have like a video, an audio and visual of what's to be expected for the school year. So um, I'm gonna be doing that today as well because I am one of the only teachers that's not sitting in a training right now because I'm fourth grade science social studies. Um, there's only like three of us who are not sitting in meetings right now. So I'm gonna be productive. I'm gonna try to make that video and get all of these to-do list items off of my to-do list. Hey you guys, so I have not filmed a single thing like all day. Um, did a couple of things around the classroom. I will just show you the updated items. So I'm trying to look around and see like what I did because I actually don't remember. Um, I actually set up a lot of like projects that I still have to complete but aren't part of like classroom setup but more of like um, getting ready for meet the teacher night or for um, like the first week of school. I did put up this wall, which are all of my um, engineering practices, um, like develop and use models, ask questions if I have any problems. You guys can see them. And then underneath them are I can statements for each one. So like engaging in an argument, I can defend my explanation. I can formulate evidence-based solid data. I can see the evidence and understand it. I can collaborate with my peers to figure out an explanation. These are gonna be really helpful for me to use, um, not only for like planning, like learning targets, 
but um, for the kids to be able to see, they probably will never use it, <laughs> but I will use it and I'm right here. So I put it up because it's, it's pretty and it's actually helpful to me. Um, and I'll probably use it as part of my learning targets for each of my units. Um, what else did I do? I think that's it. Um, I hung up a couple of other things, like I hung up those posters and, oh, I labeled all of the tables and the matching table boxes. So I'm going to use these for putting student supplies in. And when we do labs, if the supplies for the lab will fit in the bin, then I will put the supplies for the lab in the bin and then just put that on their table. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep scissors in here, glue sponges, highlighters, colored pencils, colored pencil sharpeners, and big pink erasers. And so it's gonna kinda be like a community bin. However, this year, as a team, we've decided to have our students keep all of their own supplies. This like includes crayons, markers, pens, pencils, um, notebooks we will collect, um, spiral notebooks we will collect. They'll keep their binders, um, but we want them to keep everything because honestly, I'm so tired of kids damaging my stuff and then I'm having to replace it so often. So we did put a note on our Meet the Teacher stuff that all children will be keeping their own supplies in their backpacks, so to organize it accordingly. Um, and then if they wanna donate any extra supplies like boxes of crayons, markers, colored pencils, that kind of stuff, they're more than welcome to donate those to classroom use, but every student will need to have their own supplies. Um, and I do have extras like stored in these black bins for a student who comes and doesn't have anything. And I'll also have those supplies in these bins just in case a student doesn't have something. So if they don't have their own stuff, they will have access to supplies that they need. Um, I also took my teaching cart and cleared it off. What I really did was just move it. I put a pile here <laughs> and there's a pile back there that I need to go through and then I will reload it. I also thought about putting this crate behind my desk for various things. Don't know what will go in there yet, but like, you know, stuff like this mini fan that I'm probably gonna never use and my glow timer and a broken microphone and like this thing that takes up so much space um, and my brain break cubes. That way everything on my cart is really just like what I can grab that I need to use. Um, I can put like my coffee on the top, um, a thing of pens, pencils, and then like my teacher notebook and teacher copies. So yeah, um, I think that is it as far as right now. I did get all of my stools repaired and returned so you guys can see those in the background. As of right now, we have just under 30 students in each class, but I did just confirm with my third grade science teacher that a few of them per class are not coming back. And those are confirmed not coming back. So we're looking at under 30 um, for each homeroom, which is, is fine, it's great. Last year we had about 24, 25 in each class. So five more kids is really not that big of a deal. Um, but anyways, I think I am going to end this vlog here. Um, this will be sort of the final classroom setup video. Um, I will do a final classroom tour. It will be just like a walkthrough. I'll show you all of the different areas um, and the details that way. Um, if you guys want to see things a little bit more close up, you can. And I'll kind of just like talk through things. Also, don't forget that I do have a discount code for this standing desk from FlexiSpot. It's $30 off. And I will have that linked down in the description right underneath the video so you guys can use that. But if you guys are loving these classroom setup videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one.